What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cube Carnage here, and I got another commentary for you guys today. I'm switching it up. We are playing League Play like always, but uh, I got some search and destroy for you. It's a f six one over these guys. I know, I know. A lot of times when you see my League Play videos, there's always a guy missing from the game from the other opponent's team. Well, the guy kind of dropped out. Like I want to say, like fourth or fifth round in, and yeah. And today I'm not gonna really be talking about any little core key mechanics but yeah there's some there was something i wanted to talk about on search but uh i i wanted to get a get a better video of it a better gameplay of it and it's going to touch up on something rambo talked about but yeah uh just kind of i just want to talk to you guys about the state of uh call of duty right now and where we're at and uh, well we're, we're going to talk about uh, a couple patches a couple you know, uh, random recent bannings in MLG. So let's get into this. All right. So recently we got a patch. Uh, I want to say that today's 24th. Uh, we got a patch 23rd in it. Nerf the Cat 40 and the B23R, uh, which again was uh, I was kind of on the fence about, and I I, I want to say like in a sense uh yeah the Cat 40 needed uh, to be nerfed of course because. You know, you you down people people faster with it than they actually did with their MSMCs or their Scorpions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like you won most of your gunfights if you're using the cap. Like there was no doubt about it. You're just gonna hose people. But uh, the B23R kind of threw me off. I, I felt like the gun is uh, it has its advantages and disadvantages, but at the same time, it, it seemed a little inconsistent for me. I don't know. I I enjoy. I I like the B23R. Don't get me wrong, but. It had a lot of, uh, sh you know, the inconsistencies from the B23R uh, came through more than it actually did for the Cat 40. That's that's just me. Um, it's still a great gun. Uh, again, don't get me wrong. I, it's, I, cur I'm currently using it right now. You can really get some nasty shots off with it, but um, let's see. But as of that, I didn't understand why the B23R necessarily need to get patched uh, I, I guess because of power leaks get uh, that and it was banned the cat 40 was banned in MLG and it may be banned for the next season of league play but uh, and you know Bondar has stated before that he doesn't want any power leaks to happen especially when you nerf a gun another can rise into power and all that and we're, we're kind of seeing this nice balance of guns right now and which is gonna go into my next uh, subject which is uh, with the exception of the FAL um, this kind of blew my mind uh, not not the banning of the FAL and MLG. Well, there was other things that needed to be banned in ML, in, uh, you know, comp competitive MLG uh, settings that, prior to the FAL, but um, they didn't nerf the FAL. And uh, as Puckett said on on live, on on you know the MLG live stream was that the FAL's ban was only going to be temporary until you know s certain fixes were implemented to the FAL. And, and yeah, I do agree. It, it was kind of like the same thing with the Type 95 from Modern Warfare 3. I, I didn't necessarily agree with the removal of the Type 95 in, you know, competitive. But I did feel like it needed a nerf. I, I'd say damage-wise. Um, I mean, like, yeah, I, like, this is how I feel about it. Like, if you remove the damage from, like, I remember, like, what was, like, the type was doing, like, 50 damage per shot or some, something, like, something outrageous like that, and in the early stages of Modern Warfare 3, and, you know, you have the FAL that it does similar damage here, and uh, this is what I proposed was, uh, a lot of people were saying, you know, down the clip size, add recoil, blah, 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 I mean, uh, how I feel is, is that on, on the FAL, Personally, is that it's it's gun you have to keep up with and you have to keep pristine. It's one of those guns that uh, is is hard. Like with you know after select fire got nerfed, it's not really that easy to use anymore. But it's one of those guns that you have to keep pristine. You can't really just toss off the FAL and just go onto it. Like I was I've been using the M8 and the A94 and other guns for the last couple days, and I slapped on the FAL last night just and I'm just like rusty with it. I'm just I wasn't hitting shots that I normally did, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. My you know, trigger finger was a little rusty, but anyways, the point being is that in order to make the FAL, I felt like the order to make the FAL more fair was to 
uh, lowers its dam damage and uh, increases its damage drop. Because like I want, I don't, I don't, I don't want to neuter this gun. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I started a little bit. I don't want to neuter this gun per se, uh, but I wanted to make it more fair. I still want to make a, make it a good long range uh, beam. <laughs> like I, you know, make it a four. Like increase its range, but make it a forty to a twenty drop. Or a 25 drop range, so it becomes a three to four, uh, four shot kill instead of a two to three shot kill, and uh, that actually does make a difference in a lot of encounters, especially against like you know M8s, MSMCs, and stuff like that. It's still going to be able to get hop on. You can still be able to hop on the hill and wreck havoc with it. And I'm not saying that you can't. Uh, I'm I'm just saying that it, it will be make it would make it more fair in these close you know close quarters, long range. It, how I feel, it's 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 an amazing anchor gun, and you know it just needs to be rehashed and re you know retweaked, and I I really see nothing wrong with um with the clip size and you know everything else with it. It does it does what it's supposed to. It's it's great long range weapon. It's accurate. It's consistent. And if you're good with it, you can you can just do a lot. You can you can just maul people with it and. And people might say it's unfair, unfair, but the the main reason why it's unfair is because its versatility, um, in correlation with its its high rate of fire. But people also forget it's it's also a skill curve gun. It's it's like you can't you know pick up enough hail and expect to do amazingly well. You might do okay, don't get me wrong, but it's one of those guns that you really have to practice with and and learn different things and learn uh, how to you know how to jump shot with it and. You know, it, it, there, there's just a lot of uh, things that are a lot harder to do with it than you would normally have with like an A94 or an M8, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, it is what it is for right now, and you know, I'm just gonna have to learn to work with it. But again, um, for you guys, just share your thoughts on about the whole patch thing in the comment section below. Uh, this commentary is like always coming to an end, guys. Uh, you know, comment, rate, subscribe, and have a good day, guys. I'm out. Peace.